Hello fellow designers, I'm Nathaniel and today I have a very quick but very useful trick you can use to get this transparency glass type of effect in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get to it. So first of all, we have this right here. This is just to demonstrate you how to, to go about this. So we have to choose two colors. So this is our, our main focus because when we want to create something that has transparency, we have to have two main colors. So we have to have the saturated one and the light one. This is very important because saturated and light can really, really get you this transparency effect. So uh, let's choose a very, a very, very saturated blue like this. Boom, and I want a very light and cool looking turquoise. Maybe not that light, but let's say this, okay? We have these two, two colors, the saturated one and the light one. We want a middle color, a color that is between the saturated and the light one. But how do we achieve that? Well, we have to create a rectangle. You can do that by going to the rectangle tool and easily create a rectangle like, like so. Then you select the rectangle and make it a gradient. If you don't see your gradient, then go to window, gradient, and you have your gradient box right here. With the rectangle selected go to white and black and you have white and black gradient rectangle then it's very easy you go to the gradient slider select the white get the color picker and pick your saturated color by left clicking boom you have it now you do the same thing for the other color select the color you still have the color picker selected. If you don't select it again and go on the light one and boom, you have a really cool gradient, blue gradient. Now what you have to do to get the middle color is go to object, expand, click it. And then you'll have this menu right here. Make sure you have fill selected and specify, expand gradient to specify. Usually I pick three. But if you have this issue, just undo by clicking Ctrl Z, go to object, go to expand and up the object number. So let's say five and boom, we have a middle color now. It's this easy. Now let's create something cool with this. Let's take a rectangle, make a square. By the way, you can make a, a, a perfect square by holding down Alt and Shift when you when you click. So hold down Alt and Shift because otherwise you'll get this wobbly stuff. You get this, you duplicate it by pressing Shift Alt. And then I'll rotate this, center it because I have an obsession with centering stuff. And let's select the saturated color and the light color but now I want these two to overlap and show me the effect that I created so I get the, the, the shape builder tool select both shapes and make another shape right here in the middle so now we have three separate shapes take the middle one take the eyedropper tool and select the middle color and Voila, you have very, very nice transparency effect.